Okay, welcome to the ninth part of this Ajax um, comment box using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, JSON, PHP, MySQL, uh, everything that you basically want to be able to do um, is in this one video tutorial. So now we're going to get started with using um, or implementing the JavaScript for the likes of this one post button and um, for these other buttons. The first thing which we will do is do this one post button. Now if you don't know what jQuery library is then pop over to uh, jQuery.com uh, now we do have a video um, about um, the jQuery library unless I deleted it because I by mistake deleted a whole bunch of videos the other day um, well if, I, if it's not there then I'll look at the link right now that's that's coming up because I'll have to remake it otherwise um, this is where you need to come now just click on the download uh, jQuery v1.9.1 or whatever the version is at that one time okay click on the download and then we want the download the compressed production jQuery library okay this is going to take you to a standard um, JavaScript page we just literally need to copy all of the information from there okay so just control a control C copy the lot come over to our our, um, our JavaScript sorry our web root and we're just going to make a file with inside of our JS folder and then of type JavaScript and we're just going to call this jQuery and press finished and then just dump any um, information in here and just paste uh, the data which you've just got from um, the jQuery all right that's it we can close this one down we don't have to do anything more with that now um, let's come to our, our index.php scroll to the top we know that we've got our jQuery.js with inside of our, our um, JS folder so now let's test to see that we've actually got um, jQuery library uh, on our site so let's just press F12 um, to use Firebug with inside Firefox and then we can come to DOM and now we can see the dollar sign and then the jQuery in red. This says that we have jQuery uh, on there, which we can now use it. It's nothing more than that. Um, now, it's advisable always to get the newest version of jQuery, um, although I would advise testing uh, the new version of jQuery before you put anything on there, um, just for just because of backward compatibility. You know, you never know what they've removed unless you've read up on what they've actually removed. Um, therefore, I keep a static um, copy of jQuery. Maybe it's the right or wrong way to do it but I prefer knowing that the website works and without changing anything I don't like doing anything without um, testing it first. Okay so that's jQuery done. Um, now we have our um, j uh, our script dot uh, js. Now for the sake and purposes of this uh, I don't know whether we should split down our, our script file and I think it will be actually we will so we'll make another file for the comment insert okay so we're just gonna say comments insert for our JavaScript um, that means then that we've got our own file um, for clarity right for you guys to to learn um, which information we are um, we are doing just for the insert part of it so let's just add another line to our um, index.php uh, index and we just say js comment underscore insert dot js therefore we know that anything to do with inserting um, with regards to JavaScript is going to go um, into this one file okay um, in the beginning because we're going to be attaching a handler to this one post button um, we need to know that the handle is added once the document has been loaded all right and we're going to use j uh, jQuery um, to be able to do this so the first thing that we we want to potentially do uh, at the start of all of our our um, files our JavaScript files is say document ready and open and close the um, brackets end with a semicolon inside of here then type function open and close brackets open and close curly braces now when I press enter it will do it for me automatically and with it with inside of here so um, this will um, fire once the page has been uh, fully loaded alright 
so we don't want to do it until the page is completely loaded now what we are doing is we're adding an event handler to this one single button okay and this one single button had the the uh, let's make sure we get it correctly okay had the class of comment dash post dash button dash wrapper now I don't want to use a class in this scenario because it's it's a um, one unique button therefore I just want to put an ID on onto it so we know that it stays unique so let's come to our index.php and our button then is here and we're going to set it an ID and we're going to say insert uh, BTN alright and we're just going to actually let's say comment insert BT actually let's keep it with the same naming conventions as the other one and say comment post dash uh, or comment dash post dash BTN yeah that'll be fine okay so now we have this we can add an event handler to to it and so we open we start with then the dollar sign and within brackets and we want the selector being an ID so we have to use the hashtag and then we we use the ID of that one element now in this we're going to say click so the function which we're going to use in the jQuery library is the click function and we're going to we're going to pass in as an argument uh, an anonymous function okay inside of here so when um, the comment post btn button gets clicked it's going to call this one function now for the sake and purposes of show you that it's working we're just going to use the console uh, element of Firefox to say console.log and the button is working just fine so let's just um, end up with a semicolon come back over to Firefox give the page a full page refresh come to the console click the button and naturally we see it doesn't work okay so let's make sure our script is loaded okay let's give it another refresh okay okay um, we can find this we can find what the error is here why is this not working then why is this not working document oh yeah stupid sorry my mistake I didn't save the index.php therefore the ID is not there this stuff happens okay so once again a full page refresh click on the post button and you can see this button is working fine just goes to prove that sometimes you need to slow down you need to do a little bit of debugging, debugging before you panic. Okay, don't panic. Oh, it's not working. Let's do something else. Just check every single thing that you've just done. All right. So our button's now working, which is good. Now we need to be able to collect the information that's within inside of this text area. Now, so we come down, or we come to our text area, and we're going to say um, comments text. Alright, so that's the, the information which they're actually going to actually um, comment post text. Let's be kind of explicit that we're saying this is going to um, be the post text because we might use the comment post, the comment text somewhere else. So now what we want to do is we want to save. So let's say var, let's say text equals then. And we want to extract this data. Now this had an, an ID once again, and the ID was comment dash post dash text. Therefore, we use the selector um, prefix with the the hash. And in this scenario, we want to get the value of the text area. So let's then, um, rather than saying this button is working fine, let's actually console log the text of uh, that one box. Okay. So let's make sure we save the index.php so we've actually got the ID. Let's refresh our page totally. Let's come to console. Let's type this is some um, text zext or whatever. Text that text that we wrote in. Okay, press post and we get this is some text that we wrote in. Therefore we're actually manipulating or we're actually getting the data that we want. Right now that's all well and good right that we've done this but potentially what we do want to do is to the end is we want to 
make it empty as well all right so let's just put um, um, two double quotes in there just to say hey empty this one text area all right so let's refresh this let's write some um, this text will be uh, gone well, let's just zoom in slightly this text will be gone uh, once I have clicked the button right let's be ready and watching for our, our console because that's going to print it out okay and you can see the text is now gone with inside of our comment box now why am I getting rid of it well because potentially once we've updated the comment and we've inserted it we don't want that text there anymore therefore once we've stored it then let's get rid of it from the visual display okay so now we're just going to comment this and say remove the text from the text area ready for another comment possibly okay now that's that done okay let's just comment this and say um, text within text area okay which the person has entered all right that's nice and done nice and nicely done okay so now we've done that um, let's just do a, a quick a quick test shall we let's say text dot length is more than zero okay and let's say if the text length is more than zero then we can um, proceed with um, our Ajax callback um, else I don't know why NetBeans does that okay um, let's just say console.log um, the text area was empty All right we don't really want to go on any further because well, there's no point in that text button being there so let's put our console.text console.log with our text in the bottom or in, in between this bit sorry okay let's put a comment on here the text area is empty let's put a border of red on it in a second all right let's do that in a second so let's check this now let's refresh the page to to refresh the jobs to reload the jobs script completely let's press post and as we can see the text area was empty let's put something in it gets rid of it and you can see that we get some text down here so now that um, this button is basically um, this button is basically there or, uh, sorry let's start again now that we've hooked up um, the button so we test whether the, there's actually text with inside of it um, we can proceed with doing um, some form of Ajax command but before we do that let's just take this one um, text area itself let's put wrap um, s quotes around it and we'll say CSS and what we're going to do is we're going to say border and then it's going to be equal to one pixel solid and then FF and we're going to put a red border on it okay now once yeah we want to be able to put um, yeah okay let's do that in a second I'm not going to say it first let's reload the page click the post button and it goes red okay put some some in it and it's still red all right so we need to set that one back anyway so potentially if it's more than um, zero if the text dot length is more than zero um, then we'll put it back to e1 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 um, from the beginning let's refresh this so let's press post we get red put some text in it post it goes back to the um, the color which it was before actually that's that's wrong we don't want um, the text area to have then um, a border we want to have the comment insert container to have a border all right so that is wrong and let's change this to comment insert container I'll explain this in a second let's put that there and we're changing the CSS um, for this now because we don't want the border on the text area because we want the border on the container itself to change all right 
Um, so that's all we're doing is we're basically using a dot to say that the selector is a class rather than an ID. All right, so we're using the class um, of that one container itself and we're saying, hey, set the border to then one pixel solid and this one color. All right, and if it is empty, then we're setting it to red just as before. So let's come back to our page, press um, then restart it. Okay, we now get the text area is empty and then do this now it goes back to normal again and everything is still is still perfectly fine all right so we're happy okay so that's now the the event handler added to the one um, post button um, now we need to do the ajax callback to the server to tell them what the the information is okay we'll do that in the next tutorial i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye